Hey Fluffy Girls, it's your girl Pink Fluff. Thank you so much for tuning in to Pink Fluff Empire. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Swiss Arabian Shock Off Woman Perfume. So before I give y'all all of the tea on that perfume, I just had to shout out my website real quick, okay? Support Black-owned businesses. Y'all, my website is Liddy. We just launched a couple of new products. So you can find that link down below in the description box, pinkfluffempire.com. We do have our rose and peppermint toner and our hibiscus and aloe spray. You can buy these separately or in a set. We also have our lashes, which came out. Y'all have been dying for me to restock these lashes. And yes, they are now restocked so this one is in the style empire and this is how it looks the lashes that i have on today of course is by my website um and these are in the style bomb this lippy is from my website i promise y'all i will have new lippies dropping soon i'm just waiting for them to come but yeah y'all get your hands on these lashes so for the months of june and july my brand pink fluff empire will be donating 15 percent of all sales from june to july to black lives matter this is just a organization that i really believe in and i just really want everyone to be treated fairly and equal um so we will be donating 15 percent of all orders um within the months of june and july to black lives matter if you want more information about um everything that's going to go on y'all make sure you follow my brand at pink fluff empire on instagram i will also leave the black lives matter link down below so you can donate if you want to but y'all i just really love the black lives matter movement y'all know i got to protest and everything like that so i just want to make sure that i'm doing my part and my brand is doing um our part as well so yeah i think that is just awesome so 15 percent will go to black lives matter so now that we have gotten that out the way let's go ahead and start with the perfume review so this is from swiss arabian and this is the shock off woman y'all know i love the shock off oud which i have right here this is like my favorite perfume out of my whole perfume collection it smells really good it's very luxury since i really love this fragrance and it's from swiss arabian i decided to pick up another swiss arabian scent that i thought that i would really really like so yeah i picked this one up so even though these perfumes are made from the same brand they are definitely different so i don't really want to spend a lot of time uh speaking about the shock of oud by swiss arabian this smells amazing if you haven't gotten it y'all get it um in my fragrance haul y'all that price went up this was like 37 dollars when i brought it it's now 42 dollars 42 dollars okay i checked amazon today so i am going to show y'all the box and the perfume for the swiss arabian shock off woman so this is the box for the swiss arabian shock off woman it has white trimming around it it also has black writing and it is silver and gold So this is the fragrance bottle for the Swiss Arabian Shock Off Woman. As you can see, you get the same gold top as the Shock Off Oud. And there is six X's on the back of the fragrance. And the words on the fragrance is actually black. So this is how the Swiss Arabian Shock Off Woman perfume bottle looks. So I just noticed this little card came inside of the Shock Off Woman box. You do have words in Arabic on one side. And you do have the other side in English and Arabic. And it just shows some of the perfumes and colognes that they offer. So I actually end up blind buying this perfume because I haven't been anywhere to like smell perfumes and stuff like that. So yeah i definitely blind brought this one not knowing how it would smell but i did check out the fragrance notes as you can see it's pretty much like the same packaging as the swiss arabian um shock off oud but this one is clear 
and it's not gold but it has the same top and it has those little x's on the back but yeah it's pretty much like the same fragrance it just doesn't say oud or whatnot and it's not gold but the bottle still is super cute i really do like the bottle of these i don't know why i just really love the bottle so i'm going to kind of tell y'all whether i like the fragrance or not um kind of later on in the video but when i read the fragrance notes for the shagoff uh i was about to say shagoff ooh when i read the fragrance notes for the swiss arabian shagoff woman honestly y'all i was like okay i need to try this one um i did look at the fragrance notes for the other ones and i thought this one would be the best fit for me honestly y'all when i read the fragrance notes i thought it would smell like the versace versants if you have this fragrance then you know this is definitely a banger this is very citrusy lemony green fresh it just smells really really citrusy green it just smells really really good this is one of my favorite favorite fragrances it smells amazing so when i read the fragrance notes for this perfume i thought it would smell very similar to the versace versants because this one smells amazing so when i read it i thought that it would be very similar i'm going to get my other phone so i can um tell y'all the fragrance notes really fast i did buy this perfume from amazon i always buy the swiss arabian um perfumes from amazon and i kind of like buying perfumes from amazon because normally you can return them you just want to make sure that you read the return policy um and i do believe i can return this uh i'll let y'all know i may write something across the screen if i can return it or not so i'm on the amazon website right now and this perfume is on there right now for 39 dollars and 32 cents and i believe i paid maybe 37 dollars for this i think i will leave it um on the screen so yeah i, I think i paid like 37 dollars for this so this is roughly around 40 dollars so I'm on the Amazon website right now and this bottle retails for $39.32 as of today as I'm doing this video. The price could go up because the last time I did a fragrance uh, haul video, if you haven't checked that video out, I will leave it linked down below and also in the suggested videos after this one. Um, but when I did the Shagoff Oud by Swiss Arabian, when I did that review, um, I believe I paid like $37 for it. And as of today, y'all, it is $42.58. So like I said, the fragrances definitely go up. The more popular they get, the, you know, they're going to go up in price. But this one retails as of today for $39.32. So this bottle is a 75 ml, which is 2.5 a 2.5 ounce bottle i think all of them are the same so i'm going to read the notes really quick so the top notes is lemon and lime the middle notes is apple perline and peony and the base notes is cedarwood and musk okay so when i saw the lemon and lime as the top notes i was like oh yeah i have to get it and then i also saw that they had perline in here so i was like oh i bet that smells good so like i said i thought it was going to smell like the versace versants because it's definitely like a citrusy fresh type of scent so i thought it would be similar um i didn't think it would be the same perfume but i thought it would be kind of similar to the versace versus but it's completely different so normally i don't read fragrance notes just because sometimes they can just be a little bit misleading sometimes uh normally i like to just smell my fragrances and see if i'm going to like them or not and then decide whether i'm going to buy it but since i'm not trying to you know be out shopping like that um i decided to pick this up online and you cannot smell it online so yeah when i got this i'm not gonna lie y'all i was i'm not gonna say disappointed but i was like i did not like the fragrance at all so i'm gonna spray the fragrance and honestly it just gives me old lady vibes like it smells like 
I don't know, y'all. This just gives me old lady vibes. This reminds me of when I was younger and I used to go to church. Um, and, like, all the older women would smell like this. And I was not expecting for this perfume to smell like this. I didn't read any um, fragrance reviews on YouTube or anything like that, which I probably should have. But fragrance reviews can be misleading because I may like it, but you may love it. Um, I may smell something that you don't. We are all different. So, yeah, it just depends on what you like. Honestly, y'all, when you first spray this, I cannot stand the smell. Now, I can say this about the perfume. The first day I wore it, I think I was just so stuck on it smelling like the Versace Versants that I was like, uh, no. So, I ended up washing it off of my arm. And then the second day, I was like, okay, while I have it, let me just go ahead and try it out so I can do a um, perfume review for YouTube or whatnot so i was like let me just try it out let me just see whatever the second day i tried it i actually tried this the second day and the third day um the second day i just do not like this perfume when you first spray it now once you get to the um the middle notes and the base notes i actually really like it but the top notes it's just a no I don't smell lemon and lime mixed together. I don't smell any lemon and lime within this fragrance when you first smell it. I really just smell like the cedarwood and the kind of like peony mixed together. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me like old people vibes. I don't know. I just really don't like it. It just reminds me of something my grandma and my granddad would wear. Um, it's just, I don't, I just don't like this, y'all. When you first spray it, it's like a no for me. But once it sits on your skin, I can say that the fragrance kind of changes and you smell more of the apple. Um, you smell a little bit more of the perline, perline. And the fragrance smells a little bit better. But when you first spray it, it's like a no maybe like an hour after you wear it and you get like the um middle the middle notes and it kind of sits into your skin and it, and it kind of mixes in with your body chemistry it changes and i like the way that smells i really like after like an hour how it smells but y'all i can't stand this when you first spray it and this was $40. I don't feel like that's too much for a perfume. But this honestly didn't last as long as I thought it was going to last on the skin. Y'all know the Chagop Oud by Swiss Arabian lasts for like 10 plus hours. You'll smell it on your clothes a week later when you go do laundry. But this didn't last that long on the skin. I can't say it lasts maybe like 6 hours hours but that's kind of pushing it like i would say six hours on your clothes and more so four hours on your skin and y'all know i love like very strong perfumes i like for my perfumes to stick on my skin and on my clothes i like to smell them so if you if you're like me and you really want your fragrances to last for like eight plus hours i would say this is not the perfume for you I don't know what it is about these fragrance notes. I thought that it was going to smell really, really good. My hopes were super high about this perfume. And y'all, I just, I don't know. Because the top notes, that that like lemon, lime, citrusy type of scent, I really like. But I don't smell any lemony, lime scents in here. Yeah, I don't smell any of the lemon lime. I do smell like the apple after you spray it. Like you get a hint of that apple. But I would say when you first spray it, you kind of get that cedarwood. I can smell the cedarwood and the peony. But it's just like it's mixed together and it's not mixed very well in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I kind of have my hopes up for this perfume. But it is what it is. Um, do I like this fragrance? I do like it once it dries down. I do not like it when you first spray it. This is not a lemon lime scent. And for the top notes to be lemon lime, I don't get that at all. Like I said, I get the apple, more so cedarwood, peony, all of that 
yeah i get that first i don't really get the lemon lime i like this fragrance when it dries down but if it's not dried down y'all i cannot stand it when you first spray it i'm like oh no um when i did use this fragrance i did use four sprays both times and it still didn't last on the skin how i expected it to i will say it lasts maybe four hours on the skin on your clothes pushing it six hours so yeah i don't really care for this if i had to rate this fragrance uh out of five stars i honestly would give this fragrance a three star just because it doesn't last that long and i feel like the notes are kind of misleading but like i said that's for me um everyone is different you may smell something different this may be your favorite perfume for me it just was not it just did not do what i needed it to do um and i did buy this for my birthday and i will have another haul video coming up um because your girl has been fragrance shopping but i will have a black owned business haul video coming up i'm just waiting on um a couple of orders to come in from urban hydration and um it was a soap company i i purchased from i can't remember but yeah a black owned business haul will be coming up so y'all make sure you support these small black owned businesses support black business period so that haul video will be coming up but i brought this for my birthday and honestly y'all if i can return this to amazon which i'm pretty sure i can i am going to return it because i did not like this at all um so yeah and i did use it but i can say i don't know what it is but when i first got this i wish i would have took a video because i sprayed maybe eight sprays of this and that's it but it was like up here like it wasn't like a full bottle of perfume and i thought that maybe somebody used it and they returned it and they gave me the return one but when i sprayed it it took a while for the the um perfume to come out so i was like well maybe this is a new bottle but it wasn't filled all the way to the top so yeah i really do love the packaging though the packaging gets a five star for me i really do like the glass let me wipe it off because it looks kind of dirty <laughs> but yeah i really do love the packaging for the swiss arabian now will i try another swiss arabian fragrance i probably will um i've been eyeballing which one is it y'all i'm on amazon i don't even need to be buying anymore but um i think it's the is this for men i don't know it's the shagoff oud a swad so it's a spinoff to the shagoff oud so it's called shock off oud a swad i think that's how you say it um so yeah i may try that one but i'll keep y'all updated but this one was just a no for me i don't really care for it um and it will be going back to amazon so before i sent it back i wanted to do a review because like i said i did try this for two days the first day um i'm not even going to count that day because y'all i scrubbed that right on off because it just did not smell it just did not smell how i thought it was going to smell and as it sits on your skin y'all it does change some perfumes i have i feel like they don't really change that much but like this one changes as you wear like when you first spray it it smells different like when you first spray it it's a completely different scent from like 10 minutes after you spray it so the longer it sits on your skin i feel like the more it changes but i feel like it changes in a good way not in a bad way because i just can't take it when i first spray it like it just it's just a no it just reminds me of old older people not saying nothing is wrong nothing is wrong with that y'all but it's just not my style of perfume so yeah i just uh -uh. I, yeah this is going to go back but it is a couple of more perfumes that i'm eyeballing right now so yeah i'll kind of see what i want to get i did buy a couple of new perfumes so y'all a new perfume haul video is will be on the way once i get the other perfumes and stuff like that so yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you haven't checked out my blind buy 
um perfume haul video y'all make sure you go check that out because i do i do rate my blind buy perfume so if y'all want to see how i feel about the shock off oud and the other perfumes that i bought y'all go check that video out so do i recommend this fragrance for everyone absolutely not if you're on the younger side i feel like you are not going to like this at all um i'm 25 y'all i turned 26 this month Y'all know my birthday is right around the corner, June the 15th. But I did not like this fragrance. The dry down is very nice, but when you first spray it, it just smells like an older person. Per person's perfume. Y'all, I can't talk. But I feel like if you are older, you're going to like this. Even the dry down, I feel like an older person would like this. Even though I like it more when it dries down, but I feel like... This is more so like an older woman fragrance. That's just how I feel. Um, but I'm not knocking the fragrance. I feel like it's a good fragrance. I just wish it would last longer. And it didn't smell so... I don't like the smell when, it, when you first spray it. So yeah. But I wanted to give y'all my opinion about this before it goes back to amazon because i'm pretty sure i can return it and like i said if you are blind buying fragrances i feel like amazon is a good place to blind buy um fragrances because you can always return it but make sure you check the return policy at the bottom before you actually purchase it um so yeah so make sure you do that i'm not gonna say all perfumes you can return let me rephrase that but just make sure you check the description box and see if you can return it if you don't like it so that is it for this video y'all make sure you click the link down below to my website pink fluff empire please remember that 15 percent of your order will be donated to black lives matter if you want to donate to the black lives matter movement i will leave the link down below and also i will leave other um places where you can donate down below in the description box as well y'all i was trying to get my words together but yeah i will leave other organizations down below that you can um donate to if you would like to do your research or whatnot and just see which one you would like to donate to but i personally love black lives matter and i love the movement y'all it is very important that we all stick together and y'all black lives matter black lives matter black lives matter so that's it for this video make sure you follow me on instagram at i am pink fluff also make sure you follow my brand at pink fluff empire also make sure you hit that subscribe button okay thank you so much for tuning into this video i will see y'all on my next one